Thank you, and what a wonderful welcome from my friends backstage. Thank you again. So, programmatic, we've been doing it for the last five, six years. But the challenges we face in programmatic advertising are growing more and more. We're concerned about brand safety, we're concerned about ad fraud, and we're concerned about privacy. So today I'll speak a little bit uh, how we can overcome these challenges and publishers can gain from the programmatic momentum. And we'll also see what's coming next for programmatic outside of digital. So the simplest way to put programmatic is when machines buy people from other machines. Uh, and that exactly is the problem, because the machine uh, the T-1000 from the Terminator movie, it doesn't care where they buy it. So they don't care if it's a nice-looking website or if it's a, let's say, more extremist uh, video or, or website. And that's exactly what happens. So top brands like Coca-Cola, P&G, Mars, Snickers, whatever, sometimes their advertisements end up in uh, context and content that is not brand safe. And... Uh, how does this shape and affect the market? Well, programmatic is, uh, is, uh, is a trend we cannot, uh, you know, we cannot avoid. It's, it's the future. So it helps money, money shift from advertisement to, from advertisers to publishers. Uh, it avoids the, the salaries, so no, mu no, uh, <laughs> no more people getting paid. Now we pay fees. So there is some disruption to the labor force. Uh, there are very big transparency concerns, like I said, where the ads exactly end up. Uh, you get a fair price, so you get to uh, a bid auction instead of negotiating uh, manually the deals. Uh, and there is no unsold inventory. So, like five or six years ago, we used to look at programmatic and we used to say, it's a small portion of our uh, revenues. But today we can say that programmatic is the new digital. For 2017, more than 50% of the ad spend was spent programmatically. And for 2018, IB Europe predicts that this will be uh, close to 70%. And if you look at the chart behind me, you see that all of the growth in digital will come from programmatic. So if you're a publisher, uh, or if you're a, a, an agency, an advertiser, you have to be really well prepared for this trend. This is uh, Europe data, so Bulgaria is uh, obviously lagging a bit behind, but this is what is coming. It's like, uh, uh, what's, uh, this, this should be your work chart for the next five years. And uh, my sales team and lots of salespeople, when they see that, they go, oh no, programmatic, it's going to drive my revenues down because the price is very cheap. But when we say programmatic nowadays, we don't only mean the cheap inventory that you sell below the fold. We also mean programmatic direct, which is when an agency and a publisher do a direct deal, uh, it's uh, on fixed prices, and they buy the inventory that they want. So again, the IB Europe uh, data shows that Programmatic Direct will overcome open auction in the coming years. So if you're, again, agency, advertiser, publisher, you need to be prepared for that trend because uh, Programmatic Direct is the new premium. What we used to sell premium, uh, now we sell programmatically premium. So uh, how do we ensure brand safety? Well, it's not going to come by accident you need to prepare yourself to advertise in a brand safe environment and as a publisher to provide the brand safety that uh, the advertisers want so that you can increase your price. The quality challenges we face uh, as, uh, as an industry are uh, never ending. You know, last year we had uh, GDPR, the word that, I don't know, it was like the hypest word of the year. Uh, so it requires gathering consent. We have uh, lots of third parties, so advertisers uh, serving their banners through third parties, which basically slow down the performance of the website. We have uh, ad fraud, like I said. You know that ad fraud is the second biggest revenue stream for organized crime after narcotics. It's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big thing, so criminals do with ad fraud. And we have discrepancies. 
So we have delays. The ad server of uh, the advertiser shows one data. The publisher shows another data. So all of these are challenges that we face and that uh, we as industry must overcome in order for us to provide the brand safety environment for the advertisers. And if we do that, uh, what I believe is that uh, we can actually attract more advertising dollars and more euro and lefts uh, instead of them going to the platforms. So we've prepared a very short programmatic ready checklist for publishers. Uh, and the question that uh, if there are publishers in the audience, you must ask yourself is, do I check all the boxes? Have I implemented uh, header bidding? Uh, have I done the programmatic direct deals with the agencies? Am I selling my most expensive inventory, the video inventory, programmatically? Uh, we in in NetInfo, we used to keep that inventory uh, basically uh, closed, but we opened it recently so that it's available to be purchased programmatically. Uh, am I brand safe? Do I have content vertical so that when a Japanese airline crashes, I don't show a Wizz Air advertisement next to the, next to the article? Uh, do I gather all the consent and uh, do I have the data properly set? So this is like a very, very short checklist because uh, uh, you know I'm uh, pressed in time. <laughs> but uh, the urge really is for you to embrace programmatic advertising. Uh, it's something that's been happening, but uh, you really need to invest in it and uh, to really check all the boxes because, because safety doesn't happen by accident. You need to invest money in it. So, I've prepared a couple of slides because programmatic hit the digital industry first, but it's not going to stop there. The next uh, industries that are, that are going to be disrupted basically by programmatic advertising are the industry we all know. So number one is the TV industry, number two is the uh, connected car, and number three is the IoT, which is basically the home, uh, the home environment. So uh, and. When I say it's going to happen, it's already happening. Uh, connected TV, basically, what we're going to be able to do is the same way we do an AdWords or a Facebook or a premium uh, campaign in, in digital, we're going to be able to buy TV campaigns on a programmatic interface. So TV is not going to be the very expensive media that you have to invest hundreds of thousands of euro. Uh, you're going to be able to do it on a smaller scale. And you're going to be able to choose the audience and to put the bits in. So you will be able to buy, buy that inventory and reach that channel through programmatic. And it's happening. It's uh, already today, it's a 4 billion uh, euro market. But uh, over the next years, it's going to reach uh, uh, 20 billion. And uh, uh, believe me, it, you know, it's the biggest scream in your living room. You know, you can imagine if all the ads that you see on your small smartphone are targeted and uh, track you and uh, everything, you can imagine that over the big screen it's going to be even more. So connected TV, next area for programmatic advertising. Drive time is radio time. Uh, why, why do the Google guys even care about uh, autonomous driving? Why do Apple invest in that area? Well, because the car, as we know it, is the next multimedia scene. You know, uh, imagine sitting in a you know in a, a autonomous vehicle when you don't have to steer the wheel and push the pedals. Well, then all your you know your hands are free, your attention is free, and you have like an hour a day each day that you can invest in basically watching videos or like purchasing stuff. So the Car is the next connected platform. And there is a race right now going on between all the big players who is going to be the platform for the car. And uh, the radio ads that we hear today, basically they're, they're going to come uh, through, the connected, uh, through the connected car ecosystem. And this is not, you know, this is not something that is going to happen in 20 years. You know, this is not sci-fi. This is happening today. You know, uh, connected car and connected audio is going to bypass 1 billion euro 
in advertising. So the trend is already happening. And if you look into Spotify, they're acquiring all these podcast companies because they believe that uh, people will be listening instead of uh, radio, they'll be listening to podcasts, they'll be, uh, they'll be watching uh, videos, episodes, whatever, in the car during the drive time. So connected audio, next big market after TV programmatic. Uh, it will be, like I said, driver of programmatic audio and uh, the, the sales are going, to be, are going to be huge. Next area, we all know Amazon Alexa, we all know Cortana, we all know uh, the, Google, the Google system. So basically, this is the third battle. It's the battle for your living room. It's, uh, there's going to be devices that are connected in your living room from the moment you open the door to the moment you put on the TV, to the, through the oven, to the refrigerator, through everything that you do. And they're going to know who you are, what you've watched basically, do you have any kids, is your fridge full, and all of that. And it's not going to stop there. You know. when, when they see you, they're going to ask you, you know, uh, did you buy your groceries today? Do you want me to order them from uh, eBay or something? And uh, IoT is here. And this is the next channel that is going to be programmatically driven. So uh, programmatic started in the digital industry. It's a trend that we as digital players uh, accepted like five, six years ago. Now we face huge threats in terms of ad fraud and brand safety, which I believe can be turned into uh, upside by the publishers. And it's going very quickly to connected TV, which means programmatic TV buying which is happening really soon, especially with the telecom data that they have on you as users. But it's moving after that to the car industry and it's moving after that to the, to the home automation industry. So uh, with that, uh, uh, I want to share uh, uh, you know, our, our basically company, our thoughts. I hope you innovate with us. And uh, yeah, net info. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>